What's up everyone? It's your boy, the Munching Orange with another YouTube video. We're back. It's been a long time. Uh, this Magikarp, we've, we've been keeping it waiting for way too long. It's a giant Magikarp. It's flailing around like it's out of breath, but it's too big to move. Yo, this Magikarp is pretty much like me after this last weekend. It is. I, I can barely breathe. I can't tell you what it really is. Wait, why do I... Oh yeah. There's a part in that song where he says something about breathing. That's what. Uh, never mind. Here's Nurse Joy. You'd better step away from it. Oh no. It's not safe to be near it when it's in this condition. It's upset because it's running low on calcium. Are you kidding? Like, uh, fish. Calcium? What? Okay. Uh, what does calcium do? I think it boosts defense. So I guess its defense is low and uh, Nurse Joy gave it a calcium. That's great. Back into the ocean you go, buddy. You know, I just realized that Pokemon vitamins are like actual vitamins. How did I, like, not think about that? I guess, like, protein, calcium are things that you actually need in your body or, or have. What are the other ones? Can't even think of them. Iron? Is iron a thing? I, I don't even. I take care of the Pokemon all around this area of the Orange Archipelago since so many of the smaller islands don't have Pokemon centers. I go out from island to island to help the sick or injured. That Magikarp is an old friend of mine. It won't harm anyone. I have a Pokemon center on this island, but I'm not always around. When I am, I'll be happy to heal your Pokemon for you. It's like that meme, except with Nurse Joy instead, like, I'm not always around, but when I am, I'm swimming in the ocean, finding Nemo. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get a deep sea scale from this, are we also gonna get the deep sea, the other thing? Aren't there two of them? That's the item to evolve Clam Pearl, isn't it? Huh. That's strange, man. Alright, but as I was saying, guys, I, I'm like Magikarp today, I have been, man, it has been a crazy weekend, uh, my birthday was on Saturday, I don't even, um... I ended up meeting so many people, and I just want to thank all of you so much for all the birthday wishes on Twitter and Facebook and all that. Yeah, this is a deep sea scale. It raises special defense. So this will evolve it into Gorbis, and then there's like a deep sea fang, I think, which evolves it into Huntail. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, I don't know, but here's the Pokemon Center, I guess. And uh, again, just thank you all so much. I know that Christmas is now coming up, so uh, I'm finally back home for that. And I should be able to stay here and pre-record some videos just in case this next weekend as well I decide to go hang out with more people. Um, I have some stuff pre-recorded. I don't want to make the same... I don't want to have it again so that I just leave and leave you guys with no videos. I could have actually uploaded all of Mario throughout that time, but I don't know. I just didn't set them to schedule upload. So I'll definitely schedule upload the rest of Mario. Uh, starting tomorrow, that will be coming back. Pixelmon again tomorrow. And again, thank you guys so much for the wishes and everything. It has been an awesome weekend. But I'm glad I'm kind of back, you know? You gotta slow down every once in a while. You can go hard, and then you just gotta slow back down and just enjoy a nice, relaxing day of swimming on Lapras. I wish I could actually just go and, like... Actually, no, that's kind of, that actually sounds kind of not good. Like, I would have a headache if I went on a boat right now. I was about to say, like, it would be nice to just get a nice, chill boat ride on the ocean side. But no, I'm, I get kind of seasick, so that wouldn't be very nice. Um, maybe go to the beach. I, I might go to the beach. I haven't gone to the beach ever. And you might be thinking to yourself, uh, dude, it's Christmas, like... Well, it could be holidays, too. I apologize to those of you that don't celebrate Christmas. I have alienated you. So happy holidays instead, I guess to those of you that don't do Christmas. I'm, I'm, I'm a Christmas person. I love the Christmas cheer, the gift of giving. There, there ain't nothing better than that. Um, so that's what I usually say, but we're gonna buy some items, some repels, some everything else. I just realized we haven't even battled anyone in this episode yet. All right, let's step it up. Let's focus back up. Um, I'm gonna try and record a bunch of stuff today. So this is gonna be the first of all of that, which I am hopefully gonna record. So getting back into the groove of things. What is up with this? We need a Tropic Pass in order to board the ship. Um, so I guess eventually we get a pass and we can vi pre- or revisit old islands or something. Um, so here we are on Naval Island. I believe this is where the next gym is, but we gotta climb up the snowy peak. Welcome, Pokemon trainers! All Naval Gym Challengers must climb to the top of the mountain. All trainers must reach the top of the mountain using their own resources. If a trainer uses the cable car to reach the top, he will be disqualified. You know what? We're gonna- we're gonna use the cable car, Danny, because we don't care about you, okay? Yeah, oh, um... Oh, well, fine, I guess. Well, I mean, what if I don't want to challenge the gym? What, what do you do? You just, I don't know. I guess they, they know we're a Pokemon trainer. So it's like, no, you got to use the climb the mountain. But let's check out what's down here first. The Gre Greppa Berry Islands. Okay, Greppa Berry. That's not like something out of like Chowder, the show. Like they have like weird names for all the foods in the show. Like 
the munching minces, the, the mini, I don't even, well, <laughs> I don't know, Grandpa Bear just sounds like something that would come out of that show, doesn't it? For those of you that have seen the show, is there something called that? Because I, I think that, whoa, hey, I recognize that, that little guy over there. Alright, we're going to head to this island, this sounds cooler than a gym right now, because I don't really feel like I'm up for gym challenges right now. So here's Grandpa Bear Island 1, there's another arrow, this happened last time too when we were on that showboat. I never even thought if it was showboat or snowboat. I caught you red-handed, so you thought you could just come here and steal our grippa berries after we work so hard to grow them. Are grippa berries actually a thing? I'm gonna have to look this up now. I don't think they are, though. So you aren't the grippa thief. I'm sorry I acted that way, but lately someone's been coming into our groves and stealing our grippa berries. That is just terrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe it's that Snorlax over there. I'm not sure. Uh, it could be. I mean... You know, he's pretty big, he's eating your berries, right? I can see him, but they're almost like my children, so I care about all of them. I know the Grippa Thief is on one of these islands somewhere. If you find him, please let me know right away. Well, I don't think Snorlax is actually the one eating all the berries, since it seems to be her Snorlax. He is devouring the Grippa Berry. Grittily, it won't even acknowledge you. It looks like it's eaten all the berries on the island. Maybe it'll go to sleep or jump in the ocean? Oh god. Oh, okay, Snorlax can swim. Snorlax can- I didn't even know Snorlaxes could swim. Oh no, I didn't think that Snorlax could- me either! Ruby, we are one in the same. We are connecting on the ne on a next level basis right now. Like, you and me all the way right now. We're gonna go swimming to infinity and beyond. That must be how it got here in the first place. Please follow it on to the next island and do whatever you can to stop it before it eats all of the Grepa Berries. The Grepa Berries. Alright. So, it turns out Snorlax is the thief after all. He's using that thief TM... What is a TM for thief? Is there even? I think there is a TM for thieves. He's using that TM for thief and stealing all the berries. It's not that good. So we're going to go to island number two, I guess. Maybe he's here. Hey, Snorlax, your peril wears off. Um, stop eating the berries. Oh, he's going to run away once again. Um, yeah, so I guess Snorlax can swim. I thought that, you know, it'd be so fat that it would literally just, like, drown. <laughs> That's actually a very poor sight to think about just a Snorlax jumps in the ocean and just immediately drowns so that, that, that is pretty sad um so no I guess Snorlax can swim and this guy is locked to sand are you kidding me okay well I guess we're just gonna have to giga drain you until you eventually die oh wow that's actually doing a lot of damage I was not expecting that much damage on the giga drain there I guess it was pretty low level compared to us but either way um no other islands over here so I guess we're just going straight forward the entire time and we're going to have to come back to Naval Island eventually, I know that. But for now, I just didn't want to do the gym today. You know, we got to take it slow, guys. It's a slow ride. Take it easy. Hmm. What's up with me and singing? I don't know. Lots of music. All right, so we're going to follow Snorlax around some more, it looks like. Um, I'm going to once again <laughs> check if there's anything over here. Nope, that's island number one once again. And this might just be the last island. I'm hoping this is island number three. So there's probably a ton of Greppa Island berries. How does the girl get around each of the islands? Does she just swim like us? I mean, maybe she has like a Lapras of her own that she swims on. And I don't know, because there seems to be a lot of islands for you to take care of. So how all of your berries are being eaten right now, it kind of sucks. I mean, I understand your pain now. So this is island number four. It looks, um, okay, there's Snorlax. I'm like, where did he go? Did he go that way? I'm guessing now we're going to have to go this way? Yeah, so let's let's talk to Snorlax for now. And he's going to go all the way around, so... I'm pretty sure we can just go over here, and it, we might end up on Island 5. It's kind of like the Sevi Islands, but not at all. It's more like the Greppa Berry Island. That is actually what they're called. So he went up here, but... Where is Island number 5? Was that Island no... I can't swim there. Okay. Um, is this Island number 5? Yeah? Okay. Hey, Snorlax, how's it going? Please... Please, just stop this. This is not a fun quest. Um, yeah, so... It's not like the Farfetch thing from Heart Gold or, or the original, I guess, Gold and Silver Crystal. Uh, where we have to lure him somewhere. Or like that... They did that again, actually. I just realized uh, in X and Y with the... Uh, what is that one new Pokemon called? Furfro. They did that with Furfro where you have to like lead it around the castle. And uh, yeah, I guess so. it's not like that here. It's just like we have to keep chasing him from island to island. Not really leading him anywhere in particular, just just onwards past all the islands. So devour all the better memories. Jigglypuff appeared. It started to sing. It is getting drowsy. Maybe this is your chance to battle it. Wait, 
if Jigglypuff appeared, doesn't that mean that we would be sleepy too and probably get things drawn on our face? Not nice things by Jigglypuff? I don't know. Um, I guess I'm gonna Leech Seed it. I don't want to Leech Seed uh, He's very low level, so I guess I'll just try and catch it. Maybe this is like a special kind of battle because he's already asleep. So we're just gonna toss some Ultra Balls and see if we can catch it. It is only level 35, so I'm expecting the Razor Leaf to just one shot kill it and look at that we catch it on the first try so that's good we've got ourselves ashes Snorlax so we get to give this thing a nickname um, I probably should have asked you guys for nickname suggestions knowing that was that this was coming up but I honestly didn't know it was coming up so what are we gonna name this guy in honor of hmm in honor of huh all right he eats a lot of berries we're we're gonna name him Jerry no, 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 no. We're gonna name him Gary. Gary Gergich. That's no Gary Gergich. His name is gonna be Gary. Everyone thinks his name is Jerry, but his name is actually Gary. No, I, I don't know if you spell it like this, but there we go. He's Gary Gergich, the Snorlax. Good show, uh, Parks and Recreation. Check it out. YouTube.com slash Parks and Recreation. No, that's not where you watch it. Um, yeah, uh, there's there goes Jigglypuff, and we got Gary the Snorlax. So... Uh, I guess that concludes this. Nope, because we're back in Naval Island uh, on a different day, a completely different day, actually. Uh, the last little bit that you just saw was recorded, like, on Tuesday, and now we're back on Friday. Look at that, like, four days later, and Rebecca Black references, and it's great. Oh, yeah, she made a new song. Did you guys listen to that, Rebecca Black's new song? Okay, I guess we can't go up this, but yeah, I decided since um, I haven't uploaded this in a while and I couldn't upload this on Tuesday since there was no freaking internet for some reason um I'd make this episode a little bit longer just so that you guys have a little bit more to watch as once again I think this weekend I'm gonna be gone for a little bit but this time around I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging I've got a couple of videos ready to go um, a special one tomorrow on Saturday and then I guess on Sunday another Pixelmon hopefully I don't know if I'll have it recorded but yeah I won't leave you guys hanging this time around there will be videos and such and it'll be great so uh, where are we even going right now I'm very confused I know that we're about to make it to the second gym of the Orange Islands with there only being four gyms here if you guys remember the anime that means that we're about halfway done with this game um, and pretty much done with this version of the hack there hasn't been a new beta release which kind of sucks because I know a lot of people like to see Ash Gray. Um, but it's also good for me because I did say I was going to try and finish this game before the new year. And look at that, today's the 27th, so we only got like four days left to finish this game. Do we? Wait, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We got like five days, maybe six. Um, so we're, we'll be good. I think there's only one more episode-ish left. And uh, that's enough technical talk about the episode. Let's see where we're freaking going right now. You can see we're going to the top of a snowy mountain. I guess this is the only way to go. Uh, I'm guessing that we're racing up the mountain so that we can eventually race back down the gym leader. So let's analyze the layout. I'm guessing, yeah, we can go down these. So we're going to have to toboggan race or sled race. I don't know exactly what. But race the gym leader Danny down. I remember it at least from Pokemon Naranja. That's what we had to do. So it's probably the same thing here in Ash Gray. Um, just a little bit of a different mechanic. Yeah, I already saw the sleigh there. Look at that. Let's go back and look at that. There it is. Come on. There we go. Well, actually, this is just a little water spout, but I'm guessing that we make the sleigh out of that. We're like Lapras powers. We give it the ice beam. We make it freeze it up. Oh, there's ice beam, actually. Speak of the devil, we can finally teach that to Squirtle, actually, not only Lapras. So let's go to our TM case. I'm not sure where it is. Where is the TM? Please? There we go. Okay, so let's see if we can actually teach, um... Ice Beam. It's TM 10 something. 13, okay. Uh, yeah, Roshi can learn Ice Beam. And apparently, okay, Tangulu already has it. So I was about to say, like, Tangulu can't learn it, but Yoshi, Roshi can. Yoshi, Roshi. Close enough. Um, do we want to keep Hydro Pump or Bubble Beam? You know what? Let's keep Bubble Beam. Hydro Pump is cool, but it's not very reliable. So there we go. Let's teach him that Ice Beam. And now we have some more usefulness on Roshi to take out some of the pesky grass types lurking around uh, the orange archipelago so here we are we got a bunch of like geysers sprouting out out of the ground actually not just one um so let's head up here i know that the gym leader should be somewhere around here i'm guessing these are the two geysers that we're gonna battle it out on he's got his nido queen that wants to freeze it up there's actually the gym so uh that's probably now actually gonna be it for this episode i didn't really add on that much to it actually let's go explore this this is probably just the house where we take the lift down yep if you plan on challenging the gym you can't use the cable car 
He'll have to climb the mountain. Those are the rules. Wait, do we have to climb up every single time we want to challenge him? Because that seems really annoying. Every time we lose the challenge, do we have to, like, climb back up? Man, I really hope not. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys uh, are having a good time. I'm having a great time. Next episode will probably be coming out on Monday, hopefully, uh, before New Year's still. When even is New Year's? I think, like, Tuesday to Wednesday. I don't know, man. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all then.